When was the last time you actually went to a bank? For many people, it's been a long time. Today, many of us skip the branch and bank on our phones using an app. So with this shift, there's been a rapid rise in digital-only banking services. 10 News anchor John Carlos shows us which banking apps you can bank on when you need them. Depositing checks, transferring funds, paying bills. Gone are the days of having to go to a physical branch to do any of these chores. Now they can be done anytime, anywhere, using an app. In a recent survey, Consumer Reports found three out of four Americans use one or more banking apps, but which apps are the best? We evaluated these apps for safety, privacy, transparency, support for financial well-being, and accessibility. CR's experts looked at the apps of five large traditional banks and five online-only digital banking providers. If avoiding fees is essential to you when looking for a new banking service, a digital bank may be your best bet. But there is a trade-off. We found that most of the digital banking providers offered consumers free checking and savings accounts and tended to provide higher interest rates. On the other hand, we found that traditional banks offered more features and tools to help you budget and save. When it comes to protecting your data, all the apps have flaws, some more serious than others. Most of these apps tend to share more data than what is needed, while only some of the banking apps allow you to opt out of targeted advertising. No matter which app you choose, banking securely is important. Use Face ID or a six-digit PIN to unlock your phone and on the app itself, enable two-factor or multi-factor authentication. If you lose your phone, alert your bank right away. John Carlin, 10 News, working for you.